Hello Indie Game Fans, this is Hades 2 Technical Test Playthrough. I just got access to this game, so let's check it out. Hades was one of my favourite indie games of all time, so I'm excited to dive in. Few tales are told of Hades, whose reign as grim lord of the dead came to a sudden end when all at once, his past caught up with him. But gods do not go quietly, and history repeats. So this tale was only a matter of time. Death to Kronos. Okay, so we have been looking forward to Hades 2 for quite a while. Uh, you play as Melino, the sister of Zagreus, the original protagonist of the first game. And Supergiant just announced this um, technical test and I'm excited to see what's in it. So this looks like a fountain equivalent. Restore mana, I think. And then you have health down there in the bottom left. So I think control-wise it's the same. Some sort of cast on Y. Oh, Ooh, okay. Dash and attack. Show the buttons to anything? No. Okay, let's go. Lost souls. I'll make the Titan pay. Okay, there doesn't seem to be backstab damage. Oh, there might be, I'm not sure. Yeah, there might be backstab damage. I think I'm doing 20 or 30, what, 20 from the front? Or is it part of the combo? Okay, so rewards again. Who is this god? Just a spell. It's just another spell. Ten words. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. So it's the same thing that Zagra says? Apollo, okay, this is a new god. Look, we can't get to the Titan, but if you truly mean to stop him, then the least I can do is light your way down. Okay. So attacks deals more damage in a larger area. Sprints speed sprints is faster, it inflicts daze, which causes afflicted foes to have 20% chance to deal no damage. Okay. Uh, magic restoration. When standing your cast gradually restore. Okay, let's just go for the basic attack then. They need my aid. I'll see if I need theirs. Anything that I can smash? Nope. You dare. So it feels pretty similar to the first game in terms of controls. And yeah, we're just dealing a bunch of damage with this now. With you all. Let's see what's that. Ashes, mostly used for unlocking arcana cards. Okay. Uh, rewards for two. I have no idea what these are, so let's just go with this. Wailers. New type of enemy. Oh, that's annoying. Hold still. Okay, so the cast holds them in place. And there's quite a bit of range on this weapon, actually. I'm like attacking enemies from off the screen, right? Ah. So, some other resource. Erebus Gloom, surrounding aura, typical for this place. Look for Molly in your surroundings. Okay, so there's like a whole bunch of new stuff. These are boons. Okay. What else is there? Is my altar back home? Psyche. Mostly use the race crafts to activate more Arcana cards. Okay, so the progression system seems to be very, very different from the original. Uh, the origi In the original, you mainly had one currency in the form of darkness for your upgrade and then obviously you have your 
uh, special boss rewards to unlock weapons and stuff. And this looks like money. I wonder if Charon is back in this game. Spindles. Okay, spinning attack. The ring should help. More of aerial deny area denial, I guess. One remains. Okay, get money. I suppose these are in run upgrades, and let's just head to the shop to see what we can get. I'm guessing Karen is back. Nothing I can destroy. Can I destroy this? No. Gather. Okay. Gather Molly. And it's Karen. <sighs> I'm in your debt, Lord Charon. These provisions surely shall make all the difference in my task. What gold I find is yours. Ashes. I'm guessing this is magic restoration. And yeah, let's just go with the boot. Do I have enough? One seven four. This one, please. We have to reach you, however we can. Thank you. Okay, Solar Ring. After your Omega cast expires, rapidly deal damage in the area for 2 seconds. Playing big sprint, in each encounter, deal more damage until you take damage. 10% eh. Let's see. Let's try this. So I'm guessing this is the cast, but it doesn't seem to be consuming my mana or my magic meter down below, so I'm not sure why what is triggering that this is the cast and all right okay if I charge it up then then I will use up some of the magic okay so this is Poseidon and a mini boss fight should I go for the mini boss fight let's try that a root stalker Okay, so I guess when she's firing that off, I can't really do anything to her. Just have to dodge. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Got too greedy. And once her shield is down, she's kind of vulnerable. Found one of my father's brothers, aren't you? Poseidon. In the name of him. Character redesign. You met the same fate as your father and your mother and your brother. Oh. Well, how about we turn the tide and exact terrible revenge for poor old Hades and his kin? Okay, my special change. Wave flourish. Your special hit full of a splash that knocks other foes away. It's a rare boon. Uh, sprint deals damage from impact and knocks foes away, but uses five per hit. Okay, that's not great. Uh, after you enter a location, prime 30 magic to reduce any damage that you would take. A passive reduction to your magic limit until the next location. Okay, so you reserve 30 magic and you get damage reduction. So this looks good to me. I know what the boon info does. Okay. Solar ring. Okay. Let's just go with this flood control. May all our enemies drown. To 
Switch is a bit more weighty as compared to Zagreus. Like when the attack animations is like in effect, it's difficult to like move and dodge. Okay, so these enemies are just kind of annoying, I guess, more than anything. Okay, easy fight. I'm not doing too good on health, so let's see if we can do something about it. No destructibles, and we go for the boon. Specials deal more damage. 60. That's not bad. 60% special damage. Sprint speed. Attack has chance to hit two times. Okay, this is good. Extra dose. Where to? Uh, I guess these are both resources, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this holds them in place, which is interesting. Okay, not the best play right now. I, I'll, I'll admit that. Create some space. See what we can level up. Nova Strike, Solar Ring, Extra Dose. Just more damage. Gather this. I think I'm gonna die in the next room or something. Unless. Let's see if we can get some healing here. And we might be headed up on a boss. You're a welcome sight, my lord. No healing. And yeah, I think I'm gonna die at a boss, but yeah. Alright, let's... Anything can smash? Pots? Okay, nothing in the pots. Nothing in the pots, okay. Let's just go with this. More damage. Double strike. Omega cast. Maybe I should be using my cast more. Deals damage in the area for two seconds. Okay, let's try this then. That for sure. Headmistress. Oh. There she is. Probably gonna die in this boss fight on the first run. You have surpassed my expectations, Melenoi. Melenoi. 
Thank you, Headmistress Hecate. Hecate. And the compliment. In my place, you'd have done the same. However, now is not the time for pleasantries. It is for a demonstration of your capability. My capability? You'd have us face each other here, even though my task has already begun. Your training shall never be complete. And I would know if you stand any chance at all against our enemy. Crossed flames awaken. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Attacks, okay. I thought it would be three. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of expected that on the first run. Prepared as yet. <gasps> oh. Back already. Damn it. Okay, let's look at the hub area then. See what I get for staying out all night, Frunos. You can pet the frog. And it's just a room for now. Who dares disturb my eternal rest? You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension. I believe this is Pandora, based on the trailer. That was pretty decent, right, Mel? That may be pushing it. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Which worked for me in context. And a solid haunting all in all, Dora. But I'd better run. Something I have to do. Then be gone. Okay. Uh, is that a mirror or something? Brood. Okay. This Ooh, family baby. photo. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. So the setup based on the trailer is that your father Hades has been captured by Kronos, which is an I think an old god or something, which might be his dad. And you're trying to save him from Kronos. I don't see an upgrade station, so oh. Stand tall and show here? Weakness. here? Ooh, what's this? Check check what? The rivers have a flood back there. Ooh, okay. Some things back there. More to unlock in the full game. And this looks like vendors, right? Yeah. Hitmistress. Time four star hand, Melinoi. Nary a soul expected you to slay our enemy last night on a new moon, no less. But you accomplished something of great import. I lack such forgiveness for my failure, Headmistress Hecate. The Titan yet lives, and Olympus yet burns, while I'm back where I started. What is it I accomplished? You're here to speak of it. Recovered in body, if not in spirit. You've not failed, merely begun. Thus may you learn, grow stronger, and complete your task. Death to Kronos. Voice acting is excellent as always. Death to Kronos. And I'm guessing... This? No. A fishing station. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. Nemesis. Already hit a wall. Knocked your scrawny ass all the way back here. It's in your skepticism's duly noted. It's not a vendor as well. Tell me you killed the boss. Odysseus. Drove your staff into his wretched skulls with a dagger in his gut. Uh, not that he died from that. Works on mortals though. I've nothing to report, Odysseus. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. Okay, nothing here. Is this? <laughs> Hypnos, yeah. We'll find a way to wake you, oh sleep. I promise. Okay, so it's asleep. And I don't see an upgrade station, so... Maybe I'm missing something. Treat, treat what? Oh, the dog. Hi, gang. Headmistress must have some important tasks okay. for you. Salute. Be well, headmistress. 
laptop. This cauldron's filthy still, alas. But there's oh, something about I've unsealed the silver pool. Where's that? Where's that? The crossroads. That haven hidden twixt the surface and the underworld conceals those still loyal to Lord Hades. Rightful. Together we'll retake my father. Is this a pool? No. Alta? No. Okay, I don't see an upgrade station anywhere. Unless I'm missing something really, really obvious. We shall await yours. Thank you, headmistress. Maybe an extra ended. All right, let's go for another run. My altar. Oh wait, it's here. Okay, use the altar to grow stronger. Okay, progression know. system is completely different. Arcana cards, right? Okay, the progression system is completely different. It's Arcana cards. Unlock an adjacent card to reveal this. So there's this table thing here. The sorcerer as well. You channel your omega moves. Everything moves over two seconds. I have... I need one ash. I have ten, I think. Unlock this. Oh, it looks like your moves change at the side there, right? The fury is deal 20% damage to foes in your casts. After you exit the location, restore 2 health or twice that if you have no more than 30. So this is for survivability. Uh, this is for the spell. Let's try this. Unlock this. I, I can't unlock any of these. The Titan. Gain 20 health and 20 magic. Okay, let's... Is, are these cumulative? Or deactivate. Okay, so you can have more than one act active at a time. Up to a certain limit of 20, I guess. Okay. So it's interesting that it's not either or. It's like, in addition to. So if I get this, I can heal as well, right? Okay. That'll do. So obviously balance and all that subject to change. The amount of ash or ashes that you need should differ in the final game or even the early access release. I don't know what all this is. The arms of night are now at my disposal. Okay, weapon what weapon selection. Which is staff, sister blades. I don't have silver, so I can't unlock this. I'm still using this. Strike for quick close range attack or long range specials and omega moves. Okay. Much more than just a staff bathing in there. And this is the training dummy, I guess. Is it Skelly? Skelimus. <laughs> the only question is, are you prepared to win? Commander Skelimus, sir. Strike Skelimus. Special. Class B. Hold to sprint. Okay. Okay, so run speed is... Oh, this is sprinting. Okay. I've been just spamming dash. Ah, so sprinting should help with that boss just now, right? Instead of having to spam my dash this way. Uh, Omega attack, hold X. Ah, okay. So that's what I was missing. So I was playing like Hades 1. So this Omega attack thing looks kind of neat as a system. So you have to basically hold down buttons and charge up attacks, which I'm not quite sure how it will work, whether it will kind of slow down time in this mode, or if you know everything is as hectic as it is going on in battle. Hold B to ensnare and destroy. I am ensnared. Hold B to ensnare and destroy. How does that work? Oh, I don't I don't have enough magic. Okay. Can I restore? Get out your magic back. Oh and you can't time this one, right? It's just Okay. Strange. Okay, okay. I, I get it now. You see?
Death to Kronos. I'll see to that. No one is more prepared. Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too risky heading through Elysium. And too risky to stay. All right, it's time. Okay, so sprinting, holding down, even the dash, you can hold on the dash to sprint, right? So holding down buttons is more of a thing in this game. Okay, let's go for another run then. Find the Titan, slay the Titan. Demeter. Headmistress told me so much about you, and now at last we meet. You look just like your mother. I'll not lose her again. I shall freeze hell in its entirety if that is. Oh yeah, technically she is your grandmother. You'll help me, won't you, granddaughter? Ice flourish. Special deals more damage and inflicts freeze. Sprint forms a cyclone around you that lingers even after you stop. Remain inactive for one second. Rapidly restore. Huh, okay. Should I use this then? Okay, so this have a way of recovering. All of you gather round. I have a way of restoring magic, so let's see. If I'm inactive for one second, yep, I, I restore my magic automatically, so that opens up lots more possibilities. Don't have the means just yet. Okay, I can't collect. Okay, so there's like foraging or resource gathering aspects. Within mist shrouded, labyrinthine Erebus lie countless souls of the dead. They'll be judged soon enough. Get more resources. Okay, so let's remain inactive and yeah, restore my magic. Demeter and a pom. Can I fish? I don't have a fishing rod, so I can't fish. So fishing is back, confirm. Timing on that, so time doesn't seem to slow down when you're, you know, charging up attacks. So you need to be aware of what's going on. Attacks deal more damage, inflict freeze. Stop for two seconds can be reapplied after ten seconds. Prime a barrier that absorbs one instance of damage. So this is like a shield, right? So this is pretty good. Oh, but it primes your magic. Hmm. Okay, let's just go with this. Comfort. Uh, go for the ashes. Okay, we have two options here. I'll go with this since I've no idea what it is. Okay, armored enemies are annoying for now. So let's break the armor. Wholesale to recharge.
Ah, that's pretty nice if I do say so myself. Lining up the attack Flame like that. Flame Sigil. Okay, so this is a new boon. I thought the Fire Goddess never got involved. In the name of Hades. Fire Goddess. Okay. Hestia, Goddess of Flame. So fire and ice, right? Hmm. Now, here's a little warm up for ya. A little warm up. Flame Flourish specials inflict Scorch. Smolder Ring cast repeatedly inflict Scorch on foes. Okay, so there's like damage over time, right? 30 you every second. Gain but give up one boon. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Let's try the scotch then. Whew, that almost burns. Okay, so this burns. And can I hold it? To to do more damage, I guess. Yep. Okay, so this is new as well. I guess it's a random event. Or maybe not random, like certain random perk or something. Spider? Okay. What are you doing here? Arachne. That's tramping all over my webs, that is. Oh, it's nothing silly. I can always make more perfectly good silk. Like um, hi, Arachne. Sorry about all this. I think we'll soon be True. My task has begun. You have to go. You have to try one of these. Okay. Dress. Clothes. Okay. I wonder if that will visually change the character. Don a plus 30 armor outfit that makes you channel faster. Plus 40, restore do this. Makes you restore 2 health whenever you exit the location. So I guess 50. A special look and bonus that lasts until your armor is depleted from taking damage. Okay, let's just go with this then. Not sure why it says C, A, and B. Okay. Just the extra health, I guess. And you did change the visual appearance. Okay. That's neat. Charon. A uh, boss fight. Hmm. Compel. Two required, so I can do that as well. Okay. Can I go here? Is there anything here? No. Nope. Uh, let's just go for the safe option. To your success. Hail, boatman. Can buy anything. Yes, my lord. I met Apollo, grandmother, Uncle Poseidon. I've known Artemis and Hermes for so long. I'm impressed they kept my secret from the others all this time. Okay. So narrative wise, they're doing some interesting things as well. The boatman Charon, one time steward of the dead. Now Let's just get more money and hopefully you can afford something at the final shop before the boss. Let me just try to take out some of the little guys first, and maybe I can restore my magic. Just a little. Try to line up. Uh... I have 34 armor left, so that doesn't recharge. Resources. The shadows take you. And there is environmental damage as well, although I'm not really slamming enemies into the trees and whatever just yet.
So I think the trick to these guys is that you need to use the sprint to get out of the way. But I've killed them all. Okay, there's a hammer. Or should we get for more health? Uh, let's try. Let's go for the hammer. More damage is good. Okay, let's just get away from the armored enemy first. A little bit of damage there, but I think we were okay. I got distracted. That's why the projectiles got me. A daedalus hammer. Okay, double well up. Your attack hits two times, death strike hits a larger Oh there is a death strike in this as well. I'm not really using that. Special fires two projectiles that seeks foes. Let's just go with Double Attack. Enchanted for the night. Oh this is a special, it's not a cast. Okay, the cast and special got me like confused. Let's go for more ashes. Okay, so I'm, I need some boon on my attack so that I can do a lot more damage than whatever this is. You see the attack? The doubling of attack applies on the... the second and third attack in the combo as well. So it does, that does actually do quite a lot of damage. Okay. That sound usually means that's a fishing spot, right? So I have 265 and let's just head to the shop. And it's probably the boss fight after that. I'm in full health, I have 26 armor, so we should be okay. Okay, let's just... I have 265. I don't know what this does. Oh, it's plus 30 maximum magic capacity, okay. Would that be helpful? This should help. Let's get something for the main attack. Nova Strike, 40%, eh, it's fine. Let's go with this. And let's just buy Ashes for upgrades later. And the boss fight again. We should be okay this time. Hopefully, unless there's a second phase or something that will just kick my ass. the air as you approach. She does. No. Oh yeah, I'm doing so much more damage this time. Oops, illusions. Well done. Okay, just shield it. And summoning enemies, that's annoying. Are these are the riches from the original game? Kind of look like them. Oh, to find the real one, I guess. Just wail away at her, on her. Okay, I'm getting greedy. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. What has happened? I guess I can only dodge. Oops. Oh. And I've lost my armor. How do I become not a sheep? Okay, 
Okay, this should be the last phase. Does that curse me as well? Just a little bit more. Okay. Okay, we got it. Second try. Test complete. Technical test complete. And with ferocity. I look forward to it, headmistress. No, I dare not stray too far. And I'm guessing that's the end of this demo version. I passed the test. Okay. Special resource, and let's see what happens here. Thus did Melinoe, the underworld's vengeful daughter, delve into the outskirts of her realm in search of her ancient, hateful foe, the Titan Kronos. Time itself, and time supposedly cannot be stopped, a claim the princess has her reasons to dispute. Hers is a tale that shall withstand time, yet it requires time as well. For now, a cruelly abrupt end shall have to do. Okay, so this is the same thing as what they did in the early access version of the original Hades. So once you beat the boss, it doesn't have any more content after that, and they just like reset you back to the start. Roguelike start, right? Uh, we plan to launch the game in early access quite soon. I'm guessing this will be in the summer period, if I'm not wrong. Maybe Summer Game Fest? they have some sort of relationship with Jeff Keighley, so it might be at Summer Game Fest then uh, available now kind of announcements. That's why they're running the technical test now. So we, the good news is we don't have long to wait, maybe slightly more than a month, six weeks or so. That's just my guess anyway. Uh, until then, this technical test is helping us ensure the game runs smoothly and problem-free. You have defeated her one time out of five. Okay, so I guess I have to beat her four more times? And yeah, I think, generally speaking, the first impression is very, very impressive. Uh, it's like everything the original game was and more. So the having to hold down buttons to use your Omega attacks is a very interesting mechanic that I need time to wrap my head around. Uh, I'm, I think if you look at the gameplay, you can see that I'm more of a dash around attack and dodge out of the way kind of player. That's how I played the original as well. And obviously I'm sure once you have the different weapons that you use and unlock, uh, that will affect the playstyle greatly as well. So yeah, that has been the technical test for Hades 2. For more upcoming action roguelites, watch this video.